Weather threatening Houston at this hour after tearing through San Antonio overnight. A possible tornado ripping through that city, leaving at least 100 houses damaged. A Jacqueline Sarkeesian from Fox 7 in Austin is live in Williamson County, Texas, where a train was derailed by this big storm. Good morning, Jacqueline. Good morning to all of you. Yes, that's the main story here this morning. Take a look on the other side of Highway 79. Twelve train cars have been derailed from the overnight storm. Union Pacific is on scene with multiple trailers, semi trucks trying to remove the debris that is blocking them from easily accessing underneath the derailed cars to push them back up. I'm told vehicles are actually inside of these box cars, brand new vehicles in Williamson County. County just released information that a possible tornado may have gone through this area, but that won't be confirmed until the National Weather Service comes out here. The Weather Service did issue a tornado warning for this portion of the area around 12:30 this morning when I spoke to one of the local fire departments he says people need to be very cautious when driving in the county a lot of downed power lines and there's been non-stop lightning all morning there's also wind damage from San Antonio all the way to Tyler Texas which is about five and a half hours away from San Antonio so far no injuries have been reported on course as approximately 2,000 people are without power because of downed lines. Dozens of homes in this area are damaged and like you said in San Antonio there are at least a hundred homes damaged. The National Weather Service is sending a crew down there again taking a live picture, a tractor trying to lift back up all these derailed cars. That's the latest information we have from here back to you guys in the studio. All right, and Jacqueline Sarkeesian live down in Texas. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jacqueline. I used to live there. My heart goes out to all those folks, such nice people.